Well, hello everybody. The amplifier is now complete. We now have our output meter, our input meter, two mode input meter. Uh, standby shows RF input. When it's in operate, she shows the percentage you know, of uh, drive. Uh, she's all good. Got the side supports on her. Just ready for the cover and I'm done with it. So uh, let's do a little demo here. We're in the off. This will still detect RF from the radio passing through the amplifier, but it's going to show just hardly nothing. And this is the one that we pay attention to from the radio side. Hello, radio. We're doing about 60 watts into the amp right about now. Hello, hello. And so now we just keep that bad boy on. Hello, check radio audio. Hello, check, check. Now move this a little closer in case you can't see it. Yeah, one, two, three, four. And then with it off. One, two, audio, radio, check, 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 check. And back on. One, two, audio. Try to get it set up so you never drive everything into the red. You drive into the red, you're pushing her too hard. You just cut its lights down, that's all. It won't blow up instantly, but, you know, you don't drive your car with the tack in the red all the time. Not advisable. But, uh, a little elevation here. As you can see, we got our right on the fan. Fan's all mounted. We got our side rails on. One solid box now. Oh, pretty good build. Not too, not too bad. She stays charged. That cap stays charged a little bit when you shut her down, but she drains down. And then uh, we'll take one last look at the back. Pull the power plug. I don't electrocute myself. In the case I left exposed. And uh, spin her around a little bit. You get one last backside view of her. So we got our, uh, well, let's come back over here a little bit. Down here is where we did our metering. Down here we've got uh, two geranium diodes. We got two geranium diodes up here. This detects the RF off the output. These detect the RF off the input. And then they're sent to their perspective meter up front. Uh, I didn't have any VRs put on them. I could have done that if I wanted to, but uh, they're just adjusted by proximity, you know, of how close they are to where they're picking the RF up from. But, uh, eh, pretty simple. But uh, the fans are all nice and quiet on her. She's happy. But, yep, you will not find another... A Marotron 811 that is uh, built this way. Hold on. Alexa, light on. Okay. Um, as I said, she's built, so this is power out. So I gave it a little more oomph than I needed to. She is capable of delivering the full current right off the back end of her. So, you know, I can run my whole station right off this. Just plug one item in and run the whole station right off of it. That's not where my ground normally goes. It's just I didn't want to loop it up and around to the 
you know, ground lug I put on it, so I just stuck it there for right now. And take that off there. But, uh, no RF sense. Definitely need a key line on it, RCA. I didn't want an RF sense. Keep it simple. But, uh, yep, there you go. There she is in her complete entirety, except for the cover. And we'll do that right now. Well, I haven't put the screws in it, but... She looks like your standard old 811 tube amplifier, but she's not. The screws in her and she's done. Clean the dust off the cover. And then uh, put it up there with all the radios. Alright, catch y'all later. That was the last video on this build. She's complete. She's perfect. See ya. Well, I didn't have a lot of room on that bench, so some of the work I had to do sitting here on the floor, and yeah, it got a little cool. Well, that's what we got. Well, there's not a lot of air circulation, so it's cooler on the floor than it is at the ceiling, you know. Yeah, I don't have no circulation fans in here. Okay. Yeah.